All right, so good morning. Man, I miss this stuff. It's just been so busy, but I just miss working out here and, and getting everything done and even doing these videos. I haven't edited a video in a couple weeks now, so trying to get back into everything. But we did get some things accomplished, just, just haven't had time to be out here in the garage too much. Um, well, I say out here filming too much. Everything's been in a hurry and a rush these last few weeks. But hopefully, I can get back on track now. The RD's finished. Um, got the calipers out. Um, one of them, that one that was really stuck, was pretty bad. Um, I just need to clean him up and everything, and I accidentally wasn't paying attention, and I ordered my, uh, my uh, seals and stuff from the UK uh, on the 17th of April, and it's now, what, the 4th, I think? May 4th? And they're not here yet. So that's all I'm waiting for um, to finish that up. So I can finish that rear brake. I got the light in. Um, everything's working on it. It's running. I've taken it down the street a couple of times. A little scary with just a front brake. If you've got to kind of turn or whatever, or slow down to turn, you don't want to be on that front brake. <laughs> so um, not going to touch it again until I get the rear brake finished. Um, back to the pallet table finally. I finally got some. 12 inch was the longest ones I could find, but the idea is that since these are, you know, warped and I didn't, I, I, I guess the glue didn't hold very well or I didn't press it enough when I did it, um, on the ends, which is probably where I didn't have enough glue, um, are coming apart a little bit. Plus I wanted to just, I'm going to need something to mount it to the frame of the, the welded frame that I'm going to make for it. So I'm going to try and figure out exactly what kind of a square um, size will be for, for it to be square. I'll make my frame. And then I'm going to drill some holes in there and then put one of these on each um, side like this. And they overlap about the entire two boards here in the middle. So that should hold everything together tight. And then also it'll hold it to the frame for the legs and everything. So that's my idea for that. I'm just going to get it measured off. Still have not decided if I'm going to chop this off at the end down here or find some of those clear brick things or something to put in there, some kind of clear spacer or something. Um, most likely I'll just chop them off because I think it'll be kind of pretty with just a little bit of gaps that's going to come through. Um, but the idea was to maybe put the, the clear stuff down here on the end and then have an LED shining or something. But I'll still decide about that. You know me, I don't, I don't do a lot of planning <laughs> right off the bat. Um, this is the underside, so I will cut these off anyway just in case, you know, um, when it's sitting there, somebody crawls under it or you put your feet up underneath there, you don't want to catch yourself on a nail. Um, the other side, of course, I've already done that and got them all like this where it's nice and pretty. And when you put that clear stuff on, it'll it'll look nice. So got that. Um, we started on the truck. Um, it's been having, well, the transmission went out, my son said 100 and, 100 and some thousand miles ago. I don't know. Um, we found a used one for $300 and that's what we put in there. But it's been, well, for a while it was just a hard shift on second uh, when we first put it in. But it also has the um, V8 torque converter in it. So that could have been part of the problem. I don't, we don't really know enough about that. But anyway, um, it's been kind of really bad lately. And so we decided to just go ahead and tear it apart. He's also said that he's noticed that, um, you know, there's a loss, a loss of power and everything else. And he knew there was some water in the oil. Well, that's an understatement. You can see the puddles of water in the pan over there and then over here on the floor of course you can tell the separation a lot. So he did, um, him and his buddy, they finally finished their bike. Um, they got a new exhaust, an air breather, a torque converter and all kinds of stuff and um, they've actually got that thing to go about 42 miles an hour now. I think stock they go about 20, right? So whatever they've done and it sounds really cool, sounds like a motorcycle now, like a deep uh, kind of roar to it. It's pretty cool. Um, so they got that going. We did end up buying, well he bought it when he did his transmission because the one that we had was too small and um, he wanted something he could close at night because he knew it was going to take him a while. So that little homemade one I had um, was good for small stuff but for this one he did that so he also mounted it onto um, one of those dolly things, those furniture dollies and then you can just wheel it over there. We just store it against the wall over there. You've probably seen it in a video or two. So. Uh, that works out good. Um, he's going to clean up all of these parts here and then we're going to, we're even probably going to take this one to the machine shop because, you know, the truck's still, I mean, it's not still in great shape, but, you know, it's a truck. So even if we fix it all up and everything else, it'll still be good. So we can spend a thousand dollars and fix this up, um, you know, 1500 maybe with we taking it to the machine shop 
and then have a nice truck again for a long time because we're going to do the transmission and the motor. Um, everything's out right now, so we just got to put it all together, um, get it cleaned up, and again, we're not in a real big hurry because summer's coming up, so that'll be good because we won't have to take um, Thomas every day. It's kind of been a mess right now because the truck's been out of commission, and somebody has to pick up Thomas, take him, so they got to drop me back off at work, which is really good reason. Everything happens for a reason. Always know that. That's why I only work seven miles away, so now it's easy for me to take him in the mornings, and then I just run home at lunch, have lunch with my wife. She takes me back to work. Um, then she can come back to work and go get him in the afternoon, so it works out great. Oh, what else have we got going on? Working on the RV. They're going to come next week to pick it up. Got the little thing done. I'll have a video for that on um, next week. I've already did it and everything, so I do have the video, I promise, this time. <laughs> and it's just uh, rewiring the power winch. Um, I guess leaving it out in the... The weather made it not work and stuff. So I guess that's about it. It's just a beautiful day outside today. It rained and stormed last night, but living out here in the sand, you would never know that. I woke up this morning and just the birds and sun and everything else. So um, I'll probably open this garage door up in a little bit um, and get started on this and see how far I get with that. And hopefully he will come back in here and start working on this some more. Um, we're kind of at a stopping point anyway till everything's cleaned up and we get a estimate from the uh, machine shop and stuff but as always you know stay with me here <laughs> promise to have some good stuff's coming um and just get outside do something you know do, do, find you a hobby or try something new i think that's i finally figured out what i need in life and that's just to constantly be doing something different um anytime i get like comfortable at a job i i want something more and, and some places just don't offer that so uh that's why I, I think I moved around a lot, but you just gotta, you know, I gotta have something new and keep the brain going. I, I don't like to just learn something and then start doing the same thing over and over and over. So um, that's why I love being out here, learning stuff, you know, doing things with motors and things that I never would have done. I mean, I wouldn't have ever thought about doing that Jeep or anything like that. Um, and this now is not really that scary to me. Um, you know, we probably would have freaked out if we'd ever had a motor in our floor, but you know, it's. It, it, it's not so bad now and um, you know think of a mechanic that does it all the time he can just probably do it in his sleep like that um, but good thing with that at least it's a different motor every time um, so it's not quite so boring right if you just did the the 4.3 4 Chevy V6 all the time every day that would get boring and old right so anyway as I said just get out there do something find something to do a hobby learn something um, if your kids are still willing, you know, like my son and his friend are out here now doing this. They've done everything so far by themselves. So, um, they work a little different than I do, but at least this time he's all organized and everything. It looks really nice out here. Um, I'm not freaking out. <laughs> so, that's a good thing. And, uh, but yeah, it just, uh, even though you don't think it rubs off on them, it does. Hey, kitty. So, as always, get them out there. Teach them something new every day. Have a great week, and we'll catch you on Wednesdays. Thanks for watching.